you don't have a Gmail account yet? Don't say yes. With over 1.8 billion people using it every month, Gmail is in everyone's phone. But most of them only use a tiny little sliver of what it can do. After years of experience with Gmail, we've dug down deep and found some real hidden gems that you were looking for years. So today, we're going to share seven of the best tips and tricks of Gmail to help you take back control of your inbox. So, let's start with a little secret. Most folks, they don't even know this one exists. You see, Gmail, it's a real good friend to you. It's so clever that it doesn't care if you put a period or a dot anywhere in your email address. So if your email is, let's say, beproductive990 at gmail.com, you can put a dot in the middle, like b.productive at gmail.com, and the email will still come right to you. Now, that's a good trick, but here's the better one. You can also add a plus sign and any word you want to the end of your address, and it'll still come to your main inbox. Now, you might be asking, what's the point of this? Well, this is your secret weapon for fighting spam. When you sign up for a newsletter or an online store, use one of these special addresses, and then, if you ever start getting a bunch of junk mail to that address, you'll know exactly who sold your information. You can even set up a simple filter to automatically send all emails coming to that specific address right to the spam folder. That way, you'll know you're safe, and you'll know who's not a friend. Speaking of knowing things, let's talk about the search bar. We all use it, but most of us just type in a word and hope for the best. But Gmail's search is like a powerful spirit, and you can speak to it with a special language, what we call search operators. It's a way to find exactly what you're looking for without digging through hundreds of emails. For instance, say you want to find an email from your boss, a specific person, that also had a picture attached and a link to a YouTube video. Trying to find that would be like looking for a single needle in a whole stack of hay. But with search operators, you can just type this right into the search bar. From beproductive990 at gmail.com has attachment. And like magic, Gmail will pull up the exact email you needed. You can use all kinds of different commands like after a certain date, before a certain date, or even subject to find something with a specific word in the subject line. And here's another thing, a little bonus trick. You can even create your own system using the colored stars and symbols. Go into your settings, look for the stars section, and you can drag and drop different colors, exclamation points, and check marks. You can make a red star mean something is urgent, a blue star mean it needs a follow-up, and a green check mark mean you're done with it. It's a way of talking to yourself in the future, marking your path. It's like a trail of breadcrumbs leading you to what's most important. Now, for those of you who work with others, maybe you have a personal assistant or you just need a family member to help you manage your inbox sometimes, this next one is a real gift. You can give someone access to your inbox without ever sharing your password. To set this up, it's pretty simple. You just go into your settings, look for accounts and import, and then you'll see grant access to your account. You just click add another account, put in their email address, and they'll get an invitation. Once they accept, they can switch between their own inbox and yours. It's like giving them a key to the house, but not the safe. It's a way to share the burden without giving away your trust. You know, there are some messages that are just for you and the person you're sending them to. Maybe it's a private family matter or something with work that's super sensitive. For those times, you should be using confidential mode. When you send an email in confidential mode, the person on the other end can't forward it. They can't copy the text, they can't print it, and they can't download any of the attachments. It's like the message only exists for a certain amount of time. You can even set an expiration date, maybe one day, one week, or a month. After that time passes, the message just disappears from their inbox. It's gone, like smoke. And for an extra layer of security, you can even make it so they have to enter a passcode that's sent to their phone before they can even open the email. Now, a wise person knows that there are no perfect walls. While this mode is strong, it's good to remember that it doesn't stop someone from taking a screenshot of the message with their phone. But it's a powerful tool. 
and it makes it a whole lot harder for a message to get into the wrong hands. It's a way of saying, this is for you and for now. If you're like us, you don't like to waste time. And going back and forth between your inbox and an open email can feel like walking in a circle. You open an email, you read it, then you go back to the inbox and then you open the next one. It's a slow dance. Well, there's a better way. It's called the reading pane. This feature splits your screen right down the middle, so you can see all your emails on one side and the one you're currently looking at on the other. No more going back and forth, just a smooth, continuous flow. To turn it on, just go to that little gear icon in the top right corner and you'll see an option for reading pane. You can choose to have it on the right or below your inbox. And here's the best part. You can pair it with another feature called Auto Advance. Go to your settings, click on Advanced, and turn on Auto Advance. What this does is that after you're done with an email, maybe you archive it, delete it, or mute it, the next email in the list will automatically pop up. You can just keep going down the line without ever having to go back to the inbox. It's like a river. You just keep flowing. It makes quick work of cleaning up your inbox no matter how many emails are in it. Now, the world is always changing, and Google has brought some new magic right into Gmail with Gemini, their big thinking machine. If you have a Google Workspace or a Google One AI Premium subscription, this can change the way you work forever. Think of it like having a super smart friend who can read all your emails for you. If you have a super long email thread, maybe with a hundred different replies, you can just ask Gemini to summarize it for you. It'll give you the main points in just a few seconds. No more endless scrolling. It can also help you find things in your emails with a natural question like, hey, when did so-and-so send me the final report? And it'll find it right away. And when you need to write a reply, you can just tell it what you want to say, and it'll draft a professional, well-written response for you. It's not magic, but it feels a whole lot like it. It's like having a second brain helping you navigate all the information you have. Sometimes our mind works best when we can see everything at once, like a map of the land. Instead of just one long, messy list of emails, you can divide your inbox into different sections. This is called the multiple inbox feature. It's simple to set up. You just go into your settings, look for inbox, and then change the inbox type to multiple inboxes. From there, you can create different panes, each with its own specific search query. So the first one could be is starred for your most important messages. Another could be from client at example.com and so on. It's a way of bringing all the things that matter to you right to the forefront so you never have to go digging for them again. It's like creating a beautiful, organized village where everything has its place. You've now been given a secret map to the hidden treasures of Gmail. We've talked about all kinds of powerful tools, from aliases that protect your privacy to a reading pane that makes your work flow like a river. These aren't just tricks. They're new ways of thinking about your digital life. So we want you to go out there, try one of these tips today, and see how it changes the way you work. It's time to take control of your inbox and work smarter. You can do it.